light heavyweight contender Artur Baturbiev has just signed a long-term deal with Al Heyman. Now, potentially this could mean that a fight between Stevenson and Baturbiev is actually more likely, maybe even far more likely, than a fight between Stevenson and Sergei Kovalev. Because obviously Kovalev is with Kathy Duva, main events, HBO, and Stevenson and Baturbiev are now both Al Heyman fighters who'll be fighting on PBC cards. So let me know how you feel about this, people. Are you disappointed in this? Would you have preferred to see Stevenson versus Kovalev first? Or don't you mind? And is uh, Stevenson versus Baturbiev just as good for you? And most people, I think, when Stevenson Baturbiev is made, assuming it gets made, are going to be picking Baturbiev because he's looked very, very impressive thus far as a professional. Some people are saying his skills are not really up to par in terms of being as good as Sergei Kovalev. I'm not so sure about that. Sergei Kovalev wasn't moved as quickly as Baturbiev. That's one thing you have to realize. Baturbiev is being moved much faster than Kovalev was. And on the way up, Kovalev had his ups and downs. In the first Donnell Boone fight, I think he won that fight by a was it a split decision or was it a draw? I can't even remember. I think it was a split decision win for Kovalev. It was a very close fight. He got dropped and he was hurt badly. He obviously avenged the Boone loss in good fact. Uh, sorry, the Boone <laughs> wasn't an avenge. I'm thinking of Donny Stevenson. He avenged his Boone loss. No, Sergei Kovalev uh, stamped his authority on Daniel Boone in the second fight, should I say. But the point I'm making is his rise to the top wasn't all that smooth. Whereas Baturbiev, I know he went down in one of his fights, but it wasn't really a real knockdown. He was just off balance or whatever, tripped over his opponent's foot or something like that. And how many fights has he had now? Eight fights, nine fights? And we're already talking about him as a world title contender. So he's been moved very quickly. And I think he has showed as much boxing skills as Sergei Kovalev so far against the opponents he's been up against. Maybe you'll disagree that's all good. Let me know how you feel. And yeah, who do you think would win out of Baturbiev and Stevenson? How do you see that fight going? And then who do you think would win out of Baturbiev and Sergei Kovalev? Because even though they are on different networks and whatnot, it's inevitable that there's going to be a unification at light heavyweight sooner or later. It has to happen. And if it's Stevenson or whether it's Kovalev, obviously Kovalev pulled out of the negotiations, the purse bid for a Stevenson fight and Kathy Duva came out and said it was because of network issues, contractual obligations to f fighting on HBO but you don't just pull out of negotiations like that you at least sit down at the negotiating table and see what can be done as we, s as we saw with Mayweather Pacquiao, cross network fights can happen, you can buy the services of a fighter from a network as long as the network is sufficiently financially compensated they usually don't mind, you know, they're, or they're, they're at least usually willing to compromise as well as, as long as there's sufficient financial compensation. But the fact that Kathy Duva just pulled out without even negotiating, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So Kathy Duva at the moment is the one who is blocking the unification between Sergei Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson. At least that's how it seems. I, I, I assume that Kovalev wants the fight. You know, maybe I'm assuming too much, but... On the surface, it seems like Kathy Duva is the one who's getting in the way of that fight. But eventually, there has to be a unification, whether it's Stevenson Kovalev or Baturbiev Kovalev. Let me know how you think those fights would go, and let me know what you think of this development in terms of Baturbiev signing with Al Heyman. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.